Okay, up on the bench today is the Weller SP40 soldering iron, soldering pencil, whatever you call it where you're from. Uh, this is one of Weller's newer products. I guess it's been on the market a couple of years, but it's pretty new to me. Just recently had to get a new iron. My 25 watt radio shock iron finally bit it, and tips are non existent for it anymore. So decided to upgrade to a better iron. And uh, in turn, we went with this Weller 40 watt. Um, now, this one sold as a kit from Amazon. I believe right around $23 is the total on this. And with this, you get the Weller iron. Uh, you get the pointed tip, which is right here. This is a an assist tool, as they call it, pointed on the one end. And this end, if you can see here, has the little fingers on it. Try to get it to focus. Right there. And you also get a fine chisel tip. And you get a wide chisel tip as well now I was going to get an 80 watt iron oh you also get this little bit of solder with it and they give you this nice fancy design on it now I was going to pick up this iron in an 80 watt version however I didn't like the fact that it didn't come with anything but that wide tip and doing the fine electronics work in 80 watt iron is really not necessary uh, 40 watts will get most of what I need done I'm going to be doing some capping and some little repairs here and there. So this should work out well for me. Uh, one of the things I liked about this welder, there's two things to it that I really liked. The first being that it has this wide cushion grip on it, as you can see right here. Okay, extra wide. Your fingers aren't going to slip off. You're not going to burn yourself on this thing. The other thing is, and we'll show it here in a second, um, is that it has these three LED lights. And each one of these lights produces 25 lumens of power. So it gives you just enough power and enough lighting that at the source of your work, it's going to do what you need it to do. And that's a pretty cool function. I've used it once so far, as you can see, we got a little bit of burn on it already. Uh, used it once so far for a project and that little extra added light really made a bit a big difference so if you're looking for one these come in a 25 40 and 80 watt version this one is the 40 watt with the kit the 80 watt only comes with just the iron uh, same price either way so you might as well sacrifice a little bit of power for some extra accessories um, like I said we'll have a link in the description for it and uh, go from there Oh, one other thing with this iron, a lot of people will tell you that it gives off a foul odor when you first use it a couple of times. What appears to be is there appears to be some type of oil, machine oil or something like that on the body of the iron. And that's all that is burning off. It actually isn't that bad. It wasn't foul. It didn't smell bad. Uh, it did produce a lot of smoke, but it wasn't uh, so unpleasant or unmanageable that we couldn't work with it. So keep that in mind as well it will smoke on on the initial and after about probably two three minutes of me using it that smoke was gone so some people said it takes 30 to 40 minutes five or six sessions with it to use it but i didn't have that issue maybe the case when we refire it next time but for the first use we had on it it did just fine thanks for watching okay so one thing i like about this weller is this new extended grip this is a real nice cushion grip um and it gives you a wide base you're not going to slip off and break your fingers on this thing or burn them up the other thing that i was mentioning was right there it's got the three leds and when you come down on a workpiece as you can see it illuminates that workpiece just enough to give it to what you want and uh it works very nicely so that is the weller sp40 and like I said, look for the link down in the bottom and good luck with it. Enjoy.